The Me Too movement. It's empowered women to confront their harassers. And a lot of these cases go back many years. But what about right now? Everybody's got concerns about sexual harassment, men included. We know what's criminal behavior, but what's permitted? What's, what's just being a jerk and what's crossing the line? We brought in an expert in this area, Frederica Cunningham. She is the CEO of HR in Motion. A lot of experience in this area. You work for a number of companies. You told me Washington Hospital Center was one of them. Yep. I've got some uh, history there. But before my questions, let me let me ask you. You, you did a Facebook Live today, right? I did. And, I did. and what are what are some of the concerns? What are people on social media asking you about? Well, first of all, thank you for the opportunity to hang mm -hmm. out with you. People in social media want to know. They just want to know the information. Give me what I need to know so that I understand what my rights are, my power, my voice. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of unrest, but the unrest is present because of a lack of understanding. And where is the unrest? Is it on the part of supervisors or is it on, on the part of women? Do, do women, because of all this, expect maybe some backlash to be treated a certain way, something you know they hadn't prepared for? Uh, supervisors, are, are they, they a bit afraid of Absolutely. getting too close? Absolutely. They are not quite sure what harassment is today. So that's where we come into play. It is important to ensure that our audience, the marketplace, understand what harassment is. What is it? Harassment, sexual harassment, it is a form of sex discrimination and it violates both federal and state law. It is unwelcomed or offensive behavior in the workplace. Mm -hmm. So if it leaves me scared, intimidated, uncomfortable, that's a problem. Okay. What's the difference between sexual harassment and, and somebody just being a jerk and somebody trying you? This is the first pitch, okay? Yeah. And if you go along with this, I'm coming with you know, my heavy game. You, what, what are the differences there? Well, let's talk about the jerk. Okay. You and I talked about this a little bit. Mm -hmm. The jerk needs to understand when that person attempts to disrespect by extending an unwelcome offense. I need to be clear in my response, don't do it again. Right. Now if the jerk pursues, then I need to show the jerk that I understand that I have the power and he or she does not. If, you, if you're the employee and you're talking about your supervisor, mm -hmm. how do you show your supervisor? I tell my supervisor the same thing. Don't do it again. That's right. unwelcomed and it's unacceptable. Right. Raising the voice a little bit what? helps send the message, right? Yes, it does. That's what I tell my daughters all the time. Do not be afraid. Do not lean back. Lean in. Be clear. Right. Look over the glasses if necessary. Right. But don't show teeth. This is not, this is not a game. This is important right? because what has happened is illegal. It is discrimination and it is against the law. When do you go for help? When, when, when do you go uh, to say th this is intolerable, you got to do something about this? Immediately. Right. That's a great question because sometimes women think or the victim thinks if I am serious and I say don't do it and I say stop, it ends. Absolutely not. You need to understand the next phase should be to go to either your manager, if it's your manager, then go to human resources, go to the CEO, but you must immediately tell. A lot of employees believe that the human resources department is there for the company and not the employees. This is true. However, because of the marketplace, Many organizations have, and it's not just the marketplace, Bruce, it's years and years of dealing with this elephant in the room. So many organizations have cleaned up the act, if you will. Yeah. They have the policies, they have the procedures, they have the training, and if annual training should be done, and if annual training is done, and I as an employee have to verify by signing a document that says yes, I attended the training. Right. So I am on a repetitive cycle, if you will. I'm going to hear what should happen. I, I got to ask you, they're, they're telling me to wrap up, but, but I got to ask you this. This is important. Are you concerned about pushback, backlash against women? Uh, you know, you come into a job, you knew you want that, 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 that private time with the boss, with the supervisor. You want those mentoring periods. Absolutely. If there are those trips, you know, that are earned, you know, that go to the best employees, you don't, you don't want to be locked out of those Absolutely just because you're not. female. So, so what do you do? You move forward because, one, you have to believe that your employer understands that they're responsible for ensuring that the workplace is safe. 
and you go full speed ahead to ensure that your career, which is your responsibility, is moving the way that you have already planned it. Follow the policies and the procedures. Use your voice. It is your power. Don't give it away. Right. I have one more question. They keep telling me to wrap. What if you suspect uh, a, a relationship between co-workers? Yes. Uh, what, what is your responsibility? Other than being jealous, being upset about it. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. What, what are your uh, remedies? What can you do about that? It's not a bad thing. So an organization should have a policy that says if a subordinate gets involved in a relationship with a manager. Consensual relationship. Consensual then there must be a policy that says that that subordinate can no longer report to that manager. Right, because you will. I mean, people spend a lot of time at work. People will date. That's right. People get married. That's you don't right. want to discourage that. Absolutely not. Okay, all right. Absolutely okay. not. All right, this is great stuff. I can continue talking to you. We're going to be right back. Stay with us.